Hi everyone, good evening, welcome to this video. Hi Kimi, I'm here with Elvin and well in this video I'm going to show you a little haul, a few things that I could gather just to show you in one video. So I'll just start by just taking you around the room and show you what I have been uh, actually doing over there. So well, let's start over here. The first thing I would like to show you is this adorable little Oscar <laughs> from Shark Tale. There's actually a movie I really, really like uh, for some reason. I went to seek with my with my friend, but I'm talking about more than 10 years ago now. It was really funny. It was, yeah, incredible. It was nice. And uh, I found this little Oscar and he just hangs there on my hot air balloon with a little genie. So that's the first thing that I can show you. I have no idea where my little Oscar is. He's in here somewhere. Oh, big question. Where is he? He's somewhere. Um, the first... The Second thing that I can show you that is hanging around is this adorable little seagull. I just came back from the coast and I found this. And I thought it was actually really cute. So I decided to take it. Maybe I can just hang it around somewhere. It's a little plushie and I really like the shape of the wings. And it kind of really reminds me of a real seagull. Wait, hold on a sec that I can hold properly. There we go. This is really cute. It was in a bit of a nature center. And uh, yeah, it's a well-made little plush. So this is my little seagull. Kind of reminds me of, of seagulls flying. Yeah, well, of course, being a flying plushie, but it is something that really rem reminds me of the coast, and it has all the beauty of a seagull. So, yeah, nice. Unfortunately, it it's not talking. It's not electronic. It would be nice if it, if they put some seagull no uh, sounds in there. That would be nice. That would really give this plush a finishing touch. There you go. So, for now it hangs here. I know it's not a really good place, but one day you will have a better place. And here I can show you my baby Yoda, my little reborn baby Yoda, and he's wearing his little hat. I made this little hat for him. I've been, well, I've been doing this as a new hobby, and, uh, and I just made this little hat for him. So, I was looking for something to cover his little head, his little crane. So, yeah, that's what I can show you. And the other bird I have here is the stork. Okay, it kind of reminds me of the stork. Uh, I have the seagull there and the stork over there. So, the birds. Um, what else can I show you? I'm going to take you over here. I can show you another little head that I made. Actually, I made this one for my dog. But she doesn't really like wearing it, of course. So, yeah, this is another little hood that I made. And uh, I've been working on it. I... Um, it's really nice. I really enjoyed making it. So yeah, these are just handmade. Just that I didn't really do the shape of the ear very well. So there you go. Up, oh. Atia's carrot. Um, up oh. there you go. And it's attached to her under his under his head. And the last little head that I can show you is this one here. Just found this one on Vinted. Um, and I put it on Orson. I hoped I could put it on Atia, but it looks like she doesn't really like it really much. So, oh, she doesn't like hats. <laughs> I thought it was just really cute with her big ears, but I put it on the plushies. So this is really nice. It, it's, it's like black and and pink, and I think it it it's really something. So yeah, there you go. Um, not quite sure. Not quite sure what I, what else I can show you right now. I think I uh, I showed basically everything. Oh, this was what I was thinking about. There's another little hat that I uh, found for my other Mattel baby Yoda. So here it is. It's a dog head. It has little ears. I know it's not exactly the right size, but it works well. And it's really cute on him, so there you go. Yeah, I know it's raining plushies. This is my Build-A-Bear baby Yoda. And bolt is falling. And oh, plushies. And Pennywise. Oh, adorable. Adorable. There you go. Oh. The next thing that I'm actually show you is this blanket. I know I, I had it on my bed for a while. My once upon a time blanket. I got it off Amazon. Uh, and what I really like about this picture is that you basically have almost all the characters. Not all of them, not all of them, but for example, here you have Snow White, Prince Charming, 
there's hook more in the in the back uh, you have all, all the characters it's really well made i really like those decorative blankets because they can be used as a poster they can be used as great decoration i also have a poster to go with it but so far i just have my joker here i really like him so i didn't put it up yet um, yeah there you go so this is the little blanket that i uh, make my videos on right now Ooh, there you go so i can show you a few dvds as well but i'm not quite sure that's very interesting to show so I'm just going to show you a few gorgeous plushies, or maybe just one, yeah, non-plushy thing. I uh, I could find this gorgeous little Eiffel Tower jewel holder, and this is just so me. I love this tower, and well, this is so perfect to put my earrings on, so I'm really glad, actually, I, I can put this in my bathroom. Wasn't quite, quite sure about collecting it. Not quite sure I like the pink color either, but... I did, and, and it's it's really nice, it's really nice. All in second hand, you know. I got a DVD um, from the same person, so at least it was a batch and makes things easier. So, yeah, I collect a lot of vintage because people sell stuff for elven value for really low prices. So that's, that's basically, yeah, so much easier. And, and less expensive. I have been using eBay in, in at least, well, since ever since I can remember. So last time it was in 2020, I believe. Um, so uh, the plushies I would like to show you are pretty much handmade. Like I showed you earlier, the gorgeous character that that person actually made. Well, she made me a little Rumpelstiltskin uh, from Shrek. He's adorable. He has his dark clothing and his yellow bandana. She really made him so well. He's so cute. And he's so true to the character. Oh my god. I, I can't believe how detailed she works. It's amazing. It's amazing. So she has been making a few characters for me so far. And I really, really love them. They are really beautiful characters. The way she finishes them, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't really know how she made the sleeves. How did she introduce the brown in there? I don't really know if she used pure orange. But it's gorgeous. These little hands. Oh, incredibly cute. So there you go. That's the first one. Just love this guy. I have a few others, but they're in the basket. I really like handmade character plushies also because they're from really special artists. So that's really nice. And I have another here from Money Heist. And this, this one is really impressive. The detail, the expression, the finishings. This one, I don't really know who this person is or if this is one of her first works. I suppose not, but this is amazing. It is never, I've never seen such a gorgeous plushie. I can show you the other one that I have. It's a bit less detailed, uh, but this is really neat work. Look at this. Look at this. There's not one mistake and she is incredibly well, yeah talented in this also the shape of the face the dolly face and the eyes those really funny eyes mm, it's funny <laughs> funny 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 i really like the color that the colors that she used and she has been stuffing actually the doll pretty much and um the jumpsuit is a bit loose exactly as it is so she has been making the jumpsuit and then put it on the plush with the black boots too and it's incredible detail that's in this plush I, I had to have it right away but this is not from the same artist as this person those two dolls were made by different artists still actually when you have a look at the detail it's incredible because those both artists seem to have an awesome eye for detail the only thing that i added actually was a little attachment here on the head because i didn't really like the hood coming off i like the hood up so this is, yeah, this is gorgeous, amazing plush. I really like also the, the zipper here that is loose and uh, the pocket and the black edge. It's amazing. It's amazing. And also the pockets here in the jumpsuit, like here. Yeah, it's incredible. This is a gorgeous plushie. And... Um, 
The other plushies I can show you are just a few plushies that I managed to, to buy or vintage from people who were getting rid of them, like usual, for pretty low prices. Um, so the very first little one that I could collect was this fox. This one here. I remember uh, my friend Vesper got one like this and she really liked the silver colored one. Apparently they were, this was, yeah, someone had this red one, but I really like the position of the paws. The way they actually, the, the animal just leans on its front legs in a very relaxed way. The way it retracts its leg under its chin, it's really adorable. It's like a little baby and uh, it's it's really well made. It's, it's I thought it was special, this fox, it was special. So yeah, I did collect it. Um, Vesper said that Mer the... Um, Brent was jarred, but here, I don't really know what they put on the tag. The tag is really good quality as well. It's a bit rough here on, on top, but it's a gorgeous plushie. I named him Gideon. So this is Gideon. The next one I could find was a beautiful husky plush. He belonged to a little boy who was getting rid of some of his plush. And here he is. So basically he looks pretty much like a Unitoys plush. In features he kind of looks like that the most. But he's just a bit different. And he doesn't seem to be from that brand. I really like the way he looks. Look, look the way he looks. He has like little grey ribbons around this, around this grey markings around the legs and also I really like the okay, just the, the little marking here um, on his head and his blue eyes and the, those little flecks here those little stains above his eyes, those little markings and he has like beautiful pink insides in his eye, in his ears so yeah, really gorgeous plush she named he named her Chanel, but I named him Hades. <laughs> so yeah, I have been washing him. I have been brushing him, but this plush was pretty used. It was very loved. So yeah, it also came with a little wolf which I sold, and uh, they were both yeah. The little boy wanted me to have them both because he didn't want to separate them. It was actually really cute, but I did separate them actually honestly after I received them. Um, there you go. So he's really gorgeous, actually. Um, he's a gorgeous plush. I have no idea, actually. Well, he got him in, a, in an animal park. I have no idea which one. Um, but of course, yeah, loved plush like this don't carry any more tags. <laughs> so there you go. This is Hades. And he is indeed beautiful. Oh. Uh, the next plushie that I can show you is this gorgeous German Shepherd. There you go. You might actually already have seen him before, since I already have one like this. This is the one I have. His name is Leonid. And he is just very very colored, he has a very bright, bright look, and he, um, yeah, he's the one that I collected so many months ago. I really like him, for for now I just can't get rid of him, but this is what the guy looks in new condition. And this person was getting rid of this one for like three bucks, and I was like, I thought like for this beautiful new condition, I really like the markings, I, I collected him. Uh, as you can see, he's in much better condition. And he is, uh, he has much more markings. He kind of reminds me of the FAO sitting Schwarz, German Shepherd, which is really beautiful. So actually, when you compare them, Leonid and the other one, which I named Loki, um, can actually see, of course, the uh, airbrushing washed off. Maybe this plush was washed in a washing machine, but yeah, washing machines are just so harsh for plushies. So there you go. This one is in much newer condition and uh, beautiful. So for now I just keep them both and they both wear the same color. So this is Leonid and this is Loki. And 
actually they remind me of my very first German Shepherd, which was Kenzo. I got rid of him a while ago. Um, and it's pretty much like a grown-up Kenzo. It's like Kenzo was a puppy and this is the adult version. So, yeah. He's just lying down. He's a beautiful plush. can really recommend him. I have no idea actually what brand he is or why people actually got him. He's from France, of course, no more tag. Why does people do that? Why do people cut off the tags? But I believe they were for, uh, they were sold there in, in toy stores. And I've, I've never seen them here. Also here, another cut off tag. So there you go. Unfortunately, we'll never know. Um, but they're not really rare. People do sell those over the website. Um, but I have no idea where they originally come from or what brand they are. I believe Play Kids, but I'm not quite sure. It seems like he had some glitter on his on his ears here. Also the markings behind the ears, on the back, on the back side of the ears. Really pretty. There you go. So these are two gorgeous German Shepherds. Nope. Beautiful. And I believe the last plushie that I can show you is one that I collected very recently. Uh, talking about this um, gorgeous pink fox. Of course, well, sometimes I do find a great canine plush to collect. Sometimes I don't, but it's uh, I really pick the ones that I, that I really like. Normally, I wouldn't really go for this one, but I thought this plush was so beautiful that I, yeah, I'm not so into pink, but... Oh my gosh, this is, this is such a beautiful plush. Um, so this is apparently a pink fox. Not quite sure the, about the stains on, on the above, above the eyes, but it has like beautiful large pink eyes and a little bow. It's a little female and, uh, and she has like gorgeous purple legs and, and yeah, it's a, it's a very... It kind of reminds me of that little plushie, that little pink webkins that Katie ever sent me. I named her Selfie, I still have her, and she kind of looks like Selfie. Uh, I named her Fiona, and she has a beautiful, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy tail. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I'm not really into the Wild Republic quality. I think their plushie is crippling quality. Some plushies come damaged because they are just so filmsy. Um, Wild Republic also, also tries to be, yeah, I suppose budget friendly. But their plushies sometimes fall apart. I mean, not exactly, literally, but I already had a few damaged ones. And I do have a damaged one right now, so I don't know. They, their plushies are typical and beautiful, but the material is just this filmsy material they use. It's just, yeah. The Raven's Den plushies have better, better touch, better material, I think. So that's why I'm not really into Wild Republic ones. But this little pink one here, for some reason, really caught my attention. And I, I really liked it. So this is Fiona. She's a good size. She's really fluffy on top and she has like flying legs. The finishing on the legs is not very well made, but the fact that this plush is floppy gives you all kinds of possibilities. So, And she's smiling. So she's gorgeous. She has this very natural touch. And at the same time, she has this little fantasy-like feature which is somehow really special into the style that this plush eventually turns out to be so this is yeah this is in one sentence basically what i really like about this plush now there you go i think this is basically all of, of what i wanted to show you well if i forgot something i will let you know there you go so I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye! And yes, I did forget something. Now, the last thing that I would like to show you in this video is this absolutely gorgeous Kylo Ren plush. Here he is. I'm still a fan. Really, I really like the guy. Always did. Um, <laughs> but I have no idea where this plush actually came from. I've never seen him in any shops, never seen him online, never seen him on Amazon. I have no idea, just more like a mystery plush. 
he is absolutely gorgeous i know it's pretty black it's hard to see and his hood doesn't really um take on the right shape which is a bit too bad because he's gorgeous but just look at his at the details on him um i thought he might be from the disney store but no not as far as i know does yeah indeed the hood is a little bit they also made this little material the the pattern here on his on his cloak um really amazing this plush has a high detail actually it's really large too um i just got it off vintage like usual it was just there and i have no idea actually well um where this plush was ever sold or i've never seen him before so this was a really surprise actually he uh, you can actually compare him with my kylo ren pillow buddies but this little guy has more detail his material is a bit more filmsy but he's he has more detail for example he has a lightsaber it's a bit like a yeah it looks like a chili pepper um and you even have the detail here on the sleeves his hand clutched around the hilt of his lightsaber and even the thumb here i know the lightsaber is kind of losing his uh Cross guard blades. Yeah, look. <laughs> no cross guard no cross guard blades anymore. There you go. The other hand is just like this, it still has a tag. Um brand new plush actually. You so you have the sleeves. Here you have the belt. The only thing that you don't have here on the belt is the uh, buckle, the big large buckle here in the middle. Uh, you have his um the cloak the cloak from the sides uh with the the classic pattern i just really hard to see because it's all black but here you have the um the under layer yeah and i can't take the guy's clothes off but and here you have the boots a detail on the boots there you go and you have the under layer so this this guy overall has more detailed than the Kylo Ren pillow bodies, but I think those pillow bodies have better material. They're more more sturdy, sturdier. They feel sturdier. This guy has more filmsy material. Also here the the rags coming off his uh, his uh, shoulders and his cloak. So you do have. Can I show you it this way? See the rags coming off. It's difficult to see. I know he's all black. So here you have a little one, and here you have one. On the pillow bodies, you just have one big layer, and here you have another. So yeah, he looks all ragged, exactly like in the movie. So I thought this plush was amazing. Well, it was like, yeah, I had to have him. Such a fan. He is exactly as as the character. Long legs, good size. This was an amazing plush to collect. So there you go. Sometimes I just put this hood uh, in a better position with my fingers because I think his mask is really well made too. And the funny thing is, wait, can I actually show you one more detail that's really amusing me? Is that he has even the edge of the mask here, the, the, the edge of his helmet. I think it's visible here, see? The, um, he has this little edge here that gives his helmet so there's no no uh well it's not really coming off but he does have a little finishing just like his helmet so really really funny actually <laughs> yeah his hood is attached so it's not that you can remove it it's attached here on top there you go now you have a beautiful shape of the hood I got him in brand new condition because he wasn't packed out. It's just that I think he's a real dust catcher. He's not really made of felt. I really like the pattern here on his on his cloak, but he will, yeah, he will catch dust because of this. You can't feel that about the material. So fun chili pepper lightsaber. There you go. So this is basically the last guy. Yeah, this is indeed the last guy that I wanted to show you. Now I think I went through every I went through everything.